Hey, everybody. I am super excited slash nervous to be here. Um, for those of you who do not know me, uh, my name is Jara Morse, and I am a founding golden director with Pharmacy. Um, I joined back in June of 2019, so I'm coming up on two years now with the company. Hey, everybody. Hi. Um, so yeah, two years now with the company, and I am really honored that they asked me to come and do this video for you guys. So I am actually going to be going over all of our um, new Lux False Lashes. So this was a new product that dropped, um, if my memory serves me correctly, February 1st of this year. Is that correct? I think. Um, hey, everybody. Um, so yeah, launched February 1st, I think, and um, we're going to go over all of the lashes, what they look like, what they're made of, and then I'm going to give you my tips and tricks on applying them, and then we're actually going to apply, um, I'm going to apply a set on myself. Hey, everybody. Okay, so we launched six different styles of false lashes, okay? Um, they launched three sets that are faux mink and three that are actually made of human hair. Okay, so we have synthetic faux mink and then real human hair over here on these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the black um, outer carton so that you can really get a good look at them. Yay, I'm excited to have you here. Um, this lipstick is the um, 06, I believe, let me check, 06 Vibrant Pink, and it is one of the new um, VFX uh, Pro Camera Ready Matte Liquid Lips. Anyone else absolutely obsessed with them? Like I've got them all here. I love every single one of them. They are so awesome. They need to come permanently, right? Am I right? hearts, lots of hearts for that. Um, yes, the new VFX. This is a uh, vibrant pink. I love the formula. Love the formula. Yes. Um, the human hair are the, let me just show you all the styles here. So these are, yeah, I, I wore retro rose yesterday. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So we have Keep it cool, magnificent, and glamour. These are the ones made from human hair. They also have a clear band. If you notice the clear band there compared to the foam mink, which are a lot more voluminous, as you can tell. Um, and they have a very flexible black band here. And we have studio effect, mega volume, and wow drama. Hey, Lauren. So if I can get them all six up here without dropping them, you can kind of see the comparison there. Hello, hello. Now I'm going to go for the faux minks. I usually do. I like super volume. I like lashes that touch my eyebrows when I look up. Um, I, I like just super, super drama. So I am going to apply, I saw a question here. What eyeshadow do you have on? Um, I am wearing every oops, trying to make sure I tell the truth here yeah every single color came from the glam up palette um, just so you know I've got on taupe and ashes and noir and then in on the lid right here is Raina yes okay I'm gonna apply my favorite one um, and I'm also going to apply this one because I already know that I'm going to need to trim these to fit my eye. So I wanted to show you guys how to, um, how to do that. Let me get caught up here at the bottom on comments. Yes, I'm very ready for spring. These are my Easter egg nails. Hey. Yes, Kendall, miss you. Thank you. Okay, let's get going. I don't want to get caught up on comments because we will sit here for hours. Okay, so these are these are my favorite of all six. Well, th that and Mega Volume. It's kind of hard to decide, but 
I, I think I like these just a touch bit more. Um, so this is Wow Drama. And I wanna show you one little thing. So on the Glamour Lash, which by the way, the Glamour Lash is definitely my favorite of the more natural looking ones. Um, you see how on Glamour, they are, they are shorter on the inner corner than they are on the outer corner. In comparison to something like Studio Effect, where it is shorter on the inner and the outer corner and longer in the center. Okay, so the ones that are shorter on the inner and then flare out to longer on the outer, so that's gonna create kind of a cat eye effect that's gonna elongate the eye, okay? If you're wearing something like Studio Effect where it's shorter on the inner and outer, longer in the center, that's gonna create a more open eye look. Okay, does that make sense? So, something like Glamour, we are elongating. Same thing with Wow Drama, it's just on a more dramatic level. It's a little bit shorter on the inner and we go longer as we flare out, okay? So that is going to create an elongated eye. It's really good for um, an eye look like what I'm wearing right now where we have kind of that cat eye um, effect or if you're doing something like a halo eye where we're trying to make the eye appear wider this way and not this way, you're gonna wanna go with um, something like this where it's longer in the center. Does that make sense? Yes, definitely. Yes, you can play with your eye shape, exactly. So we want the elongated eye or if we want a more um, wide awake open eye this way. So I wanted to let you guys know that uh, just so that when you're looking at the shape of the lashes, it's going to, it can affect um, the shape of your eye in different ways. I'm missing some questions, so let me scroll up here really quick. You're welcome. Glamour Lash is your favorite. It's a lot of people's favorite. It's definitely the one I go to. Glamour is the one I go to for kind of an every day look for me um and then i go for the foaming definitely when i want something you know like super out there super dramatic so uh i got asked how are these lashes compared to other lashes i've never been a lash person but i always want to share how ours are so i would compare these to the ardell lashes those are definitely my favorites um from the drugstore but they are better than those. They are a better quality. They are fuller. They look more natural um, than those, but definitely, um, I don't know if you're familiar with any other, I'm trying to think of, um, the faux mink ones definitely remind me of kind of a Lily Lashes or what else have I used? I've gone blank here live on camera, but definitely a very high quality lash, okay? Now, let's go ahead and go into Wow Drama. I want to place this on my eye and show you how to trim them, okay? Yes, very, very lightweight. So, before I do that, I want to tell you that uh, I get this question a lot. They always want to know, do you apply your lashes before or after your makeup, before or after your mascara, before or after your eyeshadow? Is it the first step or is it the last step? I'll tell you right now that everyone does things differently and and in my opinion there are no rules in makeup but there is a theory there is a more simple way to do things and a way to make things turn out a little bit better so hi andrea thank you um so yeah we're gonna go over i personally do my lashes last the reason why you would not want to put on lashes, then do your eyeshadow, is because you've got your false lashes sitting here. And as you're doing your eyeshadow, if you've got you know, powder shadows or glitters or anything, they are gonna fall on top of your lashes. And then you're gonna have this like weird, crusty, powdery thing going on on the top of your lashes that people are gonna see every time that you blink. So 
definitely want to do it as the very, very last step. Okay. I also apply mascara before. Now you can apply mascara after, or you can just not apply mascara at all. Um, I will apply mascara after I apply a false lash only if it is the last time I am wearing that particular set and I want to add just a bit more drama. So I saw a question pop up just a few seconds ago um, asking if these are reusable and yes they are. You just want to be sure and take care of them. Any false lash can be used again as long as you take care of them. So as you when you take them off, you're going to want to clean them with some micellar water. You're going to get the um, excess glue off and you're going to want to store them back into its original container here. So I put it right back on the plastic, um, put the plastic over the top and I slide it back into its little, um, its little box. Keep them stored, keep them nice, okay? and then you'll be able to reuse them many, 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 many times, okay? Um, all right, so let's wow drama. So like I was saying, um, I do have mascara on before. The reason why I do mascara at all is so that when I have the false lash on, you don't see my natural kind of dirty blonde lashes sticking out from under the false lash. If I have mascara on, then they blend really nicely into the falsy. Does that make sense? How many times do you reuse a pair on average? So, in my opinion, the faux mink ones can be used more because of that thicker black flexible band. Now, this isn't a hard plastic band. Ours are a very nice, um, very flexible black almost cotton um, so it's there's no there's nothing poking you in the eye and that kind of thing but because of that thicker band I feel like it holds up longer so I could get up to I would say 10 to 15 wears out of a foam mink lash compared to the other um, I would say maybe 7 to 10 wears that's my personal opinion okay Hello, hello. Um, is it best to apply mascara before and after? Hold on, that just went away. Is it best to apply mascara before and after putting on the lashes? First time using lashes here. So my personal opinion um, is you apply mascara before. Like I was saying um, earlier, if I'm on like my 20th time of using this lash and I'm like, okay, I think we got one more good use out of it. Um, just a fun trick that I like to do is to apply the lash and then take my mascara and go over my lashes and the false lash. And it just really adds a big dramatic look to that lash. However, you have now applied mascara all over the lash, so it's kind of ruined in a way. That's why I recommend that it not be done unless it's the last time you're going to wear this particular pair. Does that make sense? So apply the mascara before, then apply your false lash. I also recommend eyeliner. Now, if you're like, Jira, I can't do eyeliner. Okay, that's fine. But um, you don't need a fancy line. If you can literally just uh, do a black pencil line and smudge it out a little bit so that um, it covers up the imperfections, having a line of eyeliner is almost like a landing strip to an airplane it like it helps guide your way um, onto your eyeball does that make sense I have an itchy nose I'm sorry I swear I'm not picking it I just have to itch oh okay um, so what was I saying so yes I like the eyeliner it kind of guides your eye really nicely in and it helps camouflage that gap that, that can sometimes happen when you apply lashes where you've got like a gap between the false lash and your regular lashes. You have like that gap of skin showing. It's not an attractive look. So if you have eyeliner on, it's going to camouflage that. Okay. So those are my three little 
tips before we ever even get started. Do, do eyeshadow first, apply eyeliner, and mascara. Okay? How much mascara? I just do one layer. Just one layer to coat them and make them black instead of blonde. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm so bad I put mascara on mine. No big deal, Kendall, but just know that you're kind of you're you're kind of degrading the lash quicker to where it's not going to last you as many uses if you're applying the mascara each time. Okay? Put eyeliner on. So if you're doing uh, for example, this whole eye look, eyeshadow, then eyeliner, then mascara, then your false lash. Okay? How do you clean your lashes? So that is a very, very good question. I'm gonna show you Pharmacy's two makeup removers. One is what I recommend. The other one I do not recommend for lashes. So we have the Biphase makeup remover. Amazing makeup remover, okay? However, you would not want to use this one on false lashes. I always recommend micellar water, okay? The makeup removers have oils in them because the oils break down makeup, but they can also break down the glue that's in a false lash. So the glue that is actually attaching the lashes to the strip. If that gets broken down, then your lash isn't going to last very long. Those lashes are gonna to start to fall away from the band, okay? So you always want to use something like the micellar water, which is an oil-free makeup remover. Okay. Anything else? Do you curl the lashes? Don't curl lashes with a curler, right? That's up to you. Um, I personally don't. But I'm trying to think there would be anything like wrong with that. Not necessarily. Um, it's just kind of hard to get a false lash and a curler all together. And then you might end up like breaking free one of the corners. So I, I, I don't particularly do it. I don't, wouldn't see a reason why you would need to do that. If you have lashes that kind of stick out straight like this and you want to make sure that they're blended into the falsy, I would recommend curling your natural lashes before you apply the false ones. But you know, false lashes already have that gorgeous curve to it that we that, that we want. You know, that gorgeous little little swoop up. So there really wouldn't be any reason to um, need to curl them. Hi. How do you know it's time to replace your lashes? You just know, they just start to, um, a lot of times when I'm trying to clean the glue off, you can start to see some of the lashes breaking away from the band, or the lash itself might not be holding its shape like it used to, or I notice that there's a lot of mascara on them, things like that. They just don't look as pretty as they do, um, you know, when you first get them. You just know. Okay. There is someone behind me. Oh, don't say that because I'm in a room all by myself. Do I have a ghost? Oh no. You just you just made my you just made my heart stop. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm wearing CC cream and light to medium. Okay. How long do lashes last? Um, like I said, the foam minks I can get anywhere from what did I say, 10 to 15 uses, and the others, um, seven to 10 uses. Thank you, thank you. Yes, you can curl your natural lashes before you put on the fake ones. Right, you just freaked me out. There is no one in this room. Did you see someone in this room? Oh, Jesus. I swear to God, she's, I read that and my heart stopped. No, we're good. We're good. I don't know who you saw. <laughs> okay, let's get to applying. Okay, I know that's what you guys are here for. So, the wow dramas, once again. Um, one thing I recommend. So, oh, good tip here. When you are looking at a pair of false lashes, um, 
especially when you've got ones that are shaped like I was talking about earlier where it's going to create that elongated cat eye um, where it's shorter in the inner corner longer on the outer you're going to make sure that you're applying the correct lash to the correct eye okay the way that you know that is very simple take your package and just hold it up in front of you this lash goes on this side this lash goes on this side i know now you get everyone freaking out the picture frame yeah that's my wedding photo right there that's a picture of my husband right there I don't think there's anything else. <laughs> okay. Um, another thing is um, there's a little bit of glue um, that is put on in the factory to actually attach them to these plastic things right here. So you want to be careful when you're peeling them off. You don't want to just go to the outer corner and just rip um, because I, I've done it before. I've actually pulled the lashes away from the band and ruined the lash before I've even worn them. So what I recommend is to put your thumb right here in the center and gently ease them off of the um, plastic part, okay? So now you have your lash. Remember, this goes to this eye. Okay, the way that you know how to, or I'm sorry, if you need to trim them, is remember, there was that little bit of stickiness already on the lash to hold them into the packaging. Um, so you can actually put this right up to your eye and place it where it needs to go and it's gonna stick. Now, not it's not gonna stick for very long, but well enough for you to um, get a good measurement, okay? So you're going to take the inner corner you're going to look at where your natural lashes start on the inner corner. And that's where you're going to place the inside of the lash. You don't want to ever go any farther in than where your natural lashes start. Okay. Now I have that lash placed there and it might be kind of hard to see because I have a really dark smoky eye on the outer corner. But if you can see that there is some excess hanging off the side of my eye, we don't want that, okay? You don't want it, you don't want the outer corner to go any farther than your natural lashes grow on the outer corner. Same thing as the inner, okay? So, let me, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought I saw a question up here. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, so, put, place it up there and see how much farther it sticks out than that nas that last natural lash. So on me, there this is hard to see on camera. Maybe if I zoom in, there we go. So do you see how kind of that last little bunch of lashes is too much? And my natural lash, which is right there, stops right at the end of that second little bunch. Does that make sense? So. I'm going to want to trim, let me zoom you back out. I'm going to want to trim off that much off of the end. Now, always remember to trim from the end. Don't trim from the inner part because, thank you, Heather. Hi, how are you? Um, remember that uh, shape I talked about on like the glamour lashes? If you trim from the inner corner, you're going to mess up that shape. So always trim from the outer. My purple brows, thank you. Um, I just draw them on with a brow pencil and then I fill them in with a uh, purple eyeshadow. Okay, so I know that we need to cut off that last little bunch of hair. So I have little lash scissors here. And I'm just gonna snip that off from the outer corner, okay? Can get rid of that now. Another thing I like to do is I like to start flexing the band like this. That loosens it up. We want to have that natural curve to the lash so that when we apply it, we don't have um, the lash sticking out straight out like this. Okay, we want it to conform to the eye. Okay, we don't want it popping off. So I like to kind of flex it back and forth 
You can also apply it around your finger to just kind of hold that curve to it. There's different little tips and tricks you can do with that, but I just like to kind of loosen up the band like this. Yes, I was cutting it to fit my eye. Yes, Kindle. Yes, I see it a lot, and I always just want to go over and like, like snip it up, like you're wearing it too long. Don't let it stick out farther than where your natural lashes grow, and don't let it go in any farther than where your natural lashes are, okay? It looks so much better, so much more natural. Um, Nina, the palette I used is Glam Up. Okay, now, when the lashes launched, we did not launch glue yet, okay? We're still perfecting the formula on our glue. So the one I like is the Duo Glue from the drugstore. Um, there's one in a blue tube, there's one in a green tube. I believe if memory serves me correctly, the green, tu green tube is latex free. I think that's the difference. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't have an allergy to latex, um, so any either glue works for me. So I'm applying a very thin layer to the lash. Okay? Very thin. We don't need too much, but we also want to be sure that you get it well on the outer corner and the inner corner. Okay? Oh, thanks, Heather. Yes, yeah, she said the green tube of Duo is latex-free. Okay, so you have the glue on here. Number one, best tip and trick of all is to let the glue dry before you apply it, okay? You have to let the glue get tacky. Has to get tacky, otherwise you're gonna put it on there and it's just gonna slip and slide around everywhere and you're gonna end up with it glued to your eyebrow. No doubt, okay? It has to dry a little bit and get tacky. Now, a lot of these glues go on white but they dry clear. So a way that you can kind of tell if it's ready to apply is some of that white starts to go away and gets a little more transparent, okay? You can blow on them to kind of help the process along, but that's the biggest thing. I don't, you know, you can't get in a hurry and just go start, you know, trying to apply it. It has to get tacky first because we're gonna place it it needs to stick, and then we're gonna place the corners. If the glue isn't tacky, you're not gonna be able to do that. You're gonna place it, you're gonna um, go to tuck this corner in, it's gonna slide off. You're gonna go to tuck this corner in, it's gonna slide off, and you're gonna get pissed off, <laughs> okay? Just let it dry. Um, yeah, there's lots of different eyeliner, um, lots of different lash glues you guys can use. There's liner adhesives, you know, where you just draw it on like eyeliner, it gets sticky, you, you press the lash on. There's black um, lash glues, literally, your preference, your preference on what you um, want to use, okay? I like to use tweezers to place the lash where it needs to go. Um, they do make lash applicators. I don't know if I have one close by that I can show you, but there are tools like that um, that are like a tweezer, but they're shaped kind of in a U shape like a lash, and that way you can apply the lash a little bit easier. Um, and then, like I said, there's also lash scissors. One little hot tip I was given before I went live by pharmacy is that I am allowed to share with you that there is something launching on Thursday that is lash related. That's all I can say. Uh, let's see. So let me, let me kind of show you. As you saw in the beginning, I applied that glue all over the band and it was white. Do you see now that in some places it's kind of transparent, okay? It means you've probably waited long enough and it's time to apply. Now, my second best tip besides let the freaking glue dry 
is that you wanna look down into a mirror when you're applying your lashes. Because if you're looking straight ahead, let's pretend that my camera here is my mirror. And if you're looking straight ahead trying to apply this, the lash in your hand kind of get in the way of your sight, right? So you kind of can't really see what you're doing because you're all like in the way of yourself. If you look down, down into a mirror, then you can just place it right on top of the natural lashes and it works out much better, okay? All right, let me go ahead and get this one applied so we can get glue on the other and then we can talk more, okay? So down into a mirror. I've got my tweezers right in the center. I'm going to go on top of my natural lashes and then in. So I'm gonna go on top and then press in just a little bit. Now, let go. Let it sit. Be patient, okay? Now you're gonna wanna tuck in the corners. I personally like to tuck in the outer. So that's basically just taking the tweezer onto the outer corner of the lash and pressing it in. Then I'm gonna tuck in the inner and just take your time, go slow. Look at that lash and press the inner corner into the um, eyelid, okay? And that's it. Okay. Now, let's get glue on this one so it can set there and dry for a little bit. And I'll go through and answer the questions that I've missed. Now remember, we trimmed this one. There's no need to go and measure again. You're just gonna wanna trim off the same amount that you trimmed off on the other side. So remember that was this little outer bunch right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of flexing like I did. I promise, let me get this glue on and I'll go through and answer all these questions I see popping up, okay? I'm gonna apply my glue. Very thin amount. And make sure that you touch on that inner corner and that outer corner, okay? Okay, now, got it set in here. We got the glue drying, getting tacky. Let me scroll up here. I'm wearing the 06, I think it's 06, right? Vibrant pink uh, VFX matte liquid lip. Will this live, live be saved? I would like to come back to reference it again for bits and parts I'm missing. I believe so. This is the first time I've been live on Pharmacy's Instagram, so I, I don't know how it works exactly. Maybe someone else who has um, experience knows how. I don't know if, I don't think this live stays on the feed. I think it goes into maybe the stories. I don't really know. Maybe it does stay on the feed. I have a YouTube video where I do the same thing, if that helps at all, if I'm allowed to promote that, <laughs> where I go over the lashes and the application. Um, my name is Jara Morse, M-O-R-S-E on YouTube. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now I, I see a lot of people saying I made it look easy. Remember, like I said in the beginning, I have had lots of practice with this. Um, and that's really what it takes. It just takes practice. So it adheres to your skin and not the natural lashes, correct? It is literally right on the eyeliner line, like that, that lash line, the, the spot where your natural lashes connect to the eyelid. That's where you're placing it. So is one of the ends sitting more towards the front of your lash? You mean the front like this way? No, it's 
pressed in so that it is setting right there on the lash line. Hey, Caitlin. I never wore lashes before, but our lashes are so easy to apply. I absolutely love them, and they look super natural. I 100% agree. It goes to the stories. Thank you. Thank you. I recently found you on YouTube, and now I see you here. Well, thank you. Welcome. Repeat your name to look for on YouTube. Jera, J-E-R-A. Last name, Morse, M-O-R-S-E. I think that's my YouTube name, isn't it? Just my name? Pretty sure. <laughs> I never used eyelashes. I'm going to try. Thank you for explaining. You're welcome. Okay, so here we go again. You can see when I applied that, it was a solid white line. And do you see now where you can see a lot of the black lash so it means that glue has gone transparent so it's time to apply i'm sorry i didn't see if you applied mascara to your natural lashes before yes i did i um so before i ever even came on camera i have one layer of mascara on first okay let's get to applying first name one more time is jara j e r a Okay, are you ready? I'm going to zoom in on this one, see if you guys can... I know it's scary, but I think we'll get a better... Um, maybe get a better look this way, all right? So I have the tweezers in the center. I'm looking down into a mirror. Down. I'm going straight for the center of my eye on top of the natural lashes. and I press in. Okay, I'm going to the outer, grabbing it, tucking it in. Then I go to the inner corner, and sometimes I kind of lift up, make sure I'm on top of my lashes, and then I press in. Did that help zooming in? Let's zoom out. Now, one more little thing that I like to do, you can do this with tweezers or you can do this with your fingers. Um, I find tweezers a little bit easier, uh, especially if you have really long nails. Um, but you can absolutely just do this with your fingers. I like to pinch my lashes. So I like to pinch my natural lashes and the false lash together. The reason why is, remember when I talked about the eyeliner, um, telling you that it's better to have eyeliner so that you don't have that gap of skin between your false lash and your natural lashes. So it's another another little tip to kind of mend those two together so that there's no gapping. Um, because even with the eyeliner, I don't know if you can see my natural lash right there and there's a little space between that and my false lash, I don't like that. I want it to be all together. So you could just take your fingers and press right there, uh, kind of pinch right there at your natural lash line. But I like to do it with tweezers. Just be very, very careful. And I go and I just kind of pinch every little section of my eyelid. And yes, sometimes I pinch the skin of my eyelid, but just be careful. And I go over here outer corner and I pinch and I pinch that also ensures that like every part of that band is adhered so you don't have something or a, a section sticking up in a random place like it's all actually in contact with your lid and adhered and then I do like to kind of lift a little bit. Sometimes you can get them a little flat and I wanna make sure that they're up. So just kind of press up like this. Another little tip is if you have a really skinny um, brush, like a really skinny eyeliner brush, let me find mine. 
You can also just go, um, kind of zoom in for this, go on top of the lashes and press all along the band. That's another little tip on making sure that we are attached in all places. And then I like to do a little, a little lift. Okay. Let's go into some more questions. That is all the tips and tricks I have. So now question time, anything else? Maybe a dumb question, but how do you remove? Is it when you're using micellar water to remove makeup? Yes. So I will be completely 100% honest with you. I typically just take the lash and I peel it off and I stick it right back on the little card. The correct way to do it is to get some micellar water on a little bit uh, on a Q-tip, run it along the band of the lashes and break down that lash glue and then peel it off. But I'll, I'm just being honest with you, I typically just take them off. <laughs> what about those who wear glasses? Okay, so um, certain lashes, it, this is gonna be different for literally everyone. For one, it depends on the length this way of the lash, and it also depends on the person and their glasses. Some people's glasses, um, or the, um, what am I trying to say, the lens of the glasses sits closer, like higher up on the nose and closer to the eye. Some people's glasses don't sit like that. Um, I'm gonna say, I think I have some blue light glasses here. It, again, it just depends on the person's face shape and the glasses themselves. These in particular, and I have on um, one of the biggest pairs of lashes that we have, which was the Wow Drama. I am blinking and they are not touching. And I've got them pretty far up on my face. But that doesn't mean that everyone is going to be able to do that. It's going to depend on, on the glasses, the face shape, how far it sits up on the nose, many, many different factors. Um, I know with our lashes so far, I personally have had no issue with sunglasses or blue light glasses. They haven't touched. So. Yeah, she says I remove them with micellar water so it doesn't hurt. That's the best practice. That's going to be the most gentle on your eye. That's going to ensure that you're not ripping out any natural lashes and all that. I was just being honest with you. Most of the time, I just slowly peel them off. Um, she says I wear lashes with no issues. I, I wear glasses and no issues with these lashes. A few are kind of long, but still look and feel great. Yep, I agree. You're welcome. Um, I think I got these off Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Thank you. I used the Duo Lash Glue. Um, i trying to remember where I got it. I think I just got it at Walmart. It's at Walmart, Walgreens, Ulta, any drugstore, CVS. I found the Keep It Cool are very long. Those are, those are definitely um, long, but very, very sparse and wispy. So she was saying, keep it cool, she found to be long. So that could potentially touch glasses, again, depending on the person. Hi from Puerto Rico. Thank you. And the remover, um, again, I recommend micellar water. I don't recommend an oil-based makeup remover, otherwise you're gonna break down the glue that's actually keeping the lashes onto the band. We don't wanna break down that glue. We wanna break down the lash glue that we have applied. Okay, any more questions? Jen says, I struggled wearing wow drama with my glasses. So that's what I'm wearing right now. Again, like I said, it doesn't bother me in these glasses, but it it's always going to depend. It's going to be different on every single person. Okay. Always going to depend on every single person, their face shape, the shape of their glasses, where they wear them, how far up on the nose they go, all of that. So it's going to be different for everybody. Unfortunately, you're just gonna have to try it and see if it works or not. Hello from Boston. Okay. That's all I have, guys. Did I say everything? 
think I said everything. I'll remind you of the um, new products launching on Thursday and a couple of things that are lash related. You're welcome. You have a great day too. If you put your lashes from upside to down, you should not have a problem. Don't know what you mean by that. You mean like under your under your natural lashes? Because that's an option too. I didn't do that today. I went on top of my natural lashes. But you can apply false lashes and they look much, much more natural because it hides the band if you apply them under your natural lashes. The only thing you're gonna do different with that is, is um, you're gonna apply the glue more to the top front rather than the top in the back. You look up, this, it's, it's, it's much more complicated. You're gonna wanna master this way first. Um, and then you just kinda look up into a mirror and you place it under your false lash in the center tuck the inner or tuck the outer corner and tuck the inner corner everything else is the same though you're gonna want to let the glue get tacky number one and even more tacky if you're applying them under your natural lashes okay i think i have a youtube video on how to apply them under your lashes too if you're interested okay anything else you're welcome All right, guys, if that is it, I will go. I don't want to keep you on here forever, but I also want to answer all questions that I can. My name again is Jera Morse, J-E-R-A, last name M-O-R-S-E. On Instagram, I am Jera M. Beauty. I can't tell you what the new products are. I was only told to say that they are lash related. And there may be more than that. I, I, I seriously don't know anything else. I was just allowed to tell you that there are a couple of lash related products dropping on Thursday. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Um, I think someone said this will remain on Instagram, or no, on Pharmacy's stories for 24 hours. I think when I'm done here, maybe I can save it and post it somewhere else. I really don't know. This is the first time I've ever gone live on Instagram. Okay, guys, you have an amazing day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! See, I don't even know how to go off of Instagram. How do you go? How do you end this? It doesn't say end. Somebody help me. Oh, this is my life. There's no like end button. Do I just hit the X? Come on, someone help me. I'll just sit here patiently and wait for help. If I hit X, I'm afraid it's just gonna like delete it, but is that what I do? I think you can save the video. Okay, I'll try to save this um, and post it to my Instagram if I can. Hit the X. Okay, thank you. Bye.